What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this amazing flying car effect, meaning that you simulate that you're like in the air, like really high controlling your car. So I also want to apologize that this is like the first time uploading because I've actually been really busy with a side project that I'll show you guys right now. All right. So over the past couple days, I've been working in my uh, guest room, which is right now a studio. This is just a current setup that I'm using to record music to record guitars. I'm actually working on something I'm not gonna spoil about too much, but this is basically the setup. As you can see, this is my old computer. This is just to run Pro Tools and to have a t like a bunch of guitars. We can just plug them in directly into the interface. It takes a lot of time to get everything right and basically to make this entire room like soundproof and record ready, you know? So that's why I finally got the time right now to uh, get some time to show you guys this amazing Vegas Pro tutorial. So if you guys are excited for this video and if you wanna learn how to create this amazing flying car effect, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new as always, and I would say let's get started right after the intro. Alright guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 17, I'm gonna first tell you guys how you need to film this video because it's very important that if you want to simulate the best results out of this video, you need to make sure that you will have it shot in the correct way. So what we had set up for this video is we had one camera aiming into the inside of the car from the driver's seat side and we also had one on the very back end of the car filming throughout the trunk. We started with the first shot, we had to position our green screen screen behind or a window but the problem was that this car was actually too big for this green screen that's why we have only the half of this window you know with the green screen on it we need to also have proper lighting if you have a couple soft boxes i would just power them on right into like you know the window side like right behind the camera not too close so, so it's not like too oversaturated make sure that everything is lit evenly so at the very back end of the car we have of course no like external lighting set up we just had to mess a little bit more with the exposure with the brightness and with the contrast and everything so but the main thing that we want to focus on is that the green screen part in both shots actually has to be as even as possible now of course it was raining so as you can see it, like the green screen got a little bit wet that's not an issue for the chroma key you know that's the same for like wrinkles or anything like that on your green screen chroma key doesn't have any issues with it you just want to make sure that everything is lit evenly the first thing that we're going to do is of course we can apply some hue set saturation on it. So we're going to go to the video effects tab right here and we're going to go down to the color corrector and we're going to pick the secondary one, pick the default and we're going to drag that on top of our video. Now we're going to bring down this box a little bit, bring up the saturation just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit so that the green is like more like pure and lighter. You don't want to mess with the rotation hue because that's going to completely mess up our colors. Bring up the gamma just a little bit and also the gain. Now the cool thing is that this is shot with a black magic camera. So we had only only one focus point and that is on the steering wheel because of course we can have one plain shot for example with a different camera and have everything sharpened out the focus was on me and on the steering wheel because we're in the same location but as you can see at the back end of the car we have our mirror and that's not in focus so you want to make sure that you will mess around with that on the chroma key just a little bit later on so now that we finished grading our clip I'm gonna also see if this one looks great I think it does we're going to apply our chroma key onto it and we're gonna completely take out this green part and also at the back end window right here to remove the green. Okay, so now that we have the chroma key on it, we're going to first disable it and then we're going to go to our color panel. We're going to pick, as always, this icon and then we're going to pick the purest green that we can find on this entire surface. So I'm going to pick it right here. That's night and light. So then what we need to do is we need to recheck it. It needs a lot of optimization. So first we're going to bring down the high threshold so that our interior and ourselves actually gets a little bit more like back to reality. Realistic. Then we're going to bring up the low threshold. As you can see, that takes out all the black parts, but then you need to also bring up the high threshold to make things look realistic, of course. And if you have this issue where your interior turns like purple-ish or like on the blue side of things, what you can do is just uncheck your chroma key again and just pick a different color of green, different tint, and see if that works better. So right now, because my green screen has like a couple different tints 
of green. I'm going to just speed up the camera while I'm going to find the best possible result on this green screen surface. All right, so I think this one looks really, really good. Now, the thing is that I had to actually turn off my color correction. So now that we've done this, we can actually close this out and let's try to put something underneath it. So I'm going to go to the media generators tab and I'm going to just pick this horizon one and let's see what that looks like just to be able to look through our clip. Okay, so now the bad thing is that we have half of our window right here, not green screen or anything. We cannot chroma key that. So that's where we need to mask it out actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we will select everything but that window. So now we're going to go to mask at the very bottom and we need to go to the ink anchor creation tool. And then we're going to just start off by masking everything out except for the window. So now we're going to go to this window right here. So then we're going to go back all around it just like that. And let's see what that looks like. So now that we have actually keyed out this complete window, our mirror is gone. So now we just need to draw one more mask around this mirror. And of course, I'm doing this really quick, guys, because otherwise this video is going to be four to five minutes long. You're not going to be able to watch it through. So that's the only point I'm making, guys. If you're going to simulate this effect for your future video, actually sit down and do this accurately. All right. So for a small detail, what you can also do is you can go to the feather type. And if you put that one to both, you can actually click on feather you see this little marker you can bring that up that's gonna soften like a couple edges or mirror is cut off quite harsh so let's bring that up just a little bit so not to simulate any shadows or anything like that around our mirror just to make sure that it is not as harsh for example like that 0.8 now let's do that also for the remaining mask so we're gonna select our mask right here feather type put that one to both our feather is gonna be 0.8 and also for the mask completely around the color so now I'm just going to click on that, make sure that the mask is selected. Then we're going to go to feather type once more, put the one to both, and then we're going to just type in 0.8, just like that. Our clip is not really good to go because it, right here is a little bit harsh. And of course, the mirror was not focused. So it's kind of guessing where it should cut off with the green in inside the mirror. So we're going to go back to our Vivan Pan Crop icon. We're going to go back to the chroma key. And it is actually a matter right now of just messing around with the low and the high threshold. Because if I bring up the low threshold a little bit too much, you'll be able to see through the clip. That's not what we want. So let's bring that down just a little more. That's too much. Let's bring it up until it's completely gone. I think this one looks pretty solid. So now the blur amount is actually how you can fix this, but you got to be really careful because if you're going to put this one up the slightest, it's going to make things a lot blurrier, for example, like that, you know? So you do got to make sure that you will bring it up just a little bit for maybe like 0 0.011 because this one looks pretty, pretty accurate because it's not really an issue that this car mirror is blurry right now because of the blur amount because it wasn't in focus anyway. So that's why you can actually you know, compensate it. But the only thing that I see right here is this little harsh edge right here. So I'm just going to fix that real quick by going into the event pan crop. And I'm going to make this guy full screen. And then I'm going to zoom in quite a lot. I'm going to position my screen just a little bit for a little more comfort, drag that guy a little bit down. It looks pretty, pretty darn solid. The next step we can do is, of course, mask out this part because it this mask doesn't really count on the, you know, the shot where it's shot from in the, in the trunk of the car. So now we're going to just cut it right here. And then we're going to also trim down the background. We can actually remove that as well. Now, of course, you can also just do one angle and then you're pretty much done. But I just had two angles just to have more of a variety. So then the next thing you can do is just go to some stock websites, get yourself like a membership and download some clips from drones flying up. So this one is what I found. So you got to make sure that you will make everything look real so I would just go to a part where the drone is actually like tilting from the bottom right here until sideways. So let's go ahead and place that up front and let's see what that looks like. As you guys can see, you can also steer a little bit, for example, now that you're going straight and that you're sitting. So let's go ahead and just time this one a little more. So I'm going to make sure that when the drone, when I'm, you know, turn the steering wheel, that the drone is also switching sides. As you can see, so now it actually looks that you're turning the drone. But what you can also do is if it look if it's to the wrong direction, you can just go to the event pen crop and mirror this. You can just flip this horizontal. So let's see what that looks like. Of course, because I'm turning to the right side, so the wheels are going to the right. So this drone should also turn sideways to the right. So let's play it back. As you can see right now, and you gotta time it when I'm like stopping. 
So that's how you can actually time it, and that's how it can look really, really solid. All right, so now that we're on the second clip, we actually need to do everything exactly the same. We just need to mask all around it and then just create a separate mask, for example, on this window and then on the very right as well. Just everywhere where you don't have a green part of the green screen because it's simply not big enough. So of course, you guys know how this works. I've also showed you guys this at the beginning. It is not really that complicated. You guys have seen it in the intro, how it works. I'm not gonna keep going because this video is already quite long. So that's it guys. This is how you create like this really cool flying car effect in Vegas Pro 17. Just go sit in the car, put a green screen behind the windows, mask it out, remove the green part and then just add in your drone footage. And then it actually looks that you're sitting into a car like a couple hundred feet into the air. So guys, that is it for this video. Now you guys know how to create this amazing effect. And by the way, next Monday, I'll be showing you guys how to do this in Premiere Pro. The exact same technique, but a lot more in detail when it comes to like removing the green more accurately and everything like that. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to let me know by a comment. And also Vegas Pro 18 is on its way, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for that. It's coming out next month. Stay tuned for the walkthrough because it's gonna have a lot of new features. I can't say too much about it yet. That's just a secret until August, but that's what I wanted to mention to you guys as well. But guys, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.